welcome back to another RPM racing video. We're here getting the powder coated stuff ready. Like I told you guys, it is now Thursday. We're gonna show you guys how we get the, the parts ready before we turn the oven on and how hot we gotta set the oven so we can powder coat them when I pull them back out. So what you really have to do is you gotta put a pair of gloves on. You don't need them, but I say they're required because your fingers and all your fingerprints all have oils in them. So whenever you touch something, you can't see it, but there's oils on it. So I always take a rag where I put the paint prep on, like I showed you guys last time. And then I take a dry rag and then I wipe it back down. You can use paper towels. I don't like paper towels because I feel these back little fibers that get caught in the powder. So you cannot get any dirt on these, any dirt on the floor, any, any dust, don't use that rag. It's gotta be clean. I know this one's actually, yeah, this one's new. But real quick, I'll give you guys a little, little a closer view on what we're gonna be doing. So we just fold it real nice, you know, best you can. They're thin little rags. They're good for this stuff. I do have it in a spray bottle, but the spray bottle, I think it keeps screwing up the spray bottle on it. The stuff is like a lacquer thinner, but not quite. So we're just gonna wipe them all down. You can you can re go back and re-wipe them down. You don't need to do it instantaneously. It's not gonna hurt anything. The oven's gonna get rid of all the uh, all the little you know little elements in all the metals so it's not like it's uh, it's gonna stay there just about all of these are pretty clean and usually if you blow them off real good and wipe them down when you're done sanding them nine times out of ten there's never usually a big problem with trying to wipe them down thankfully these are flat black preparation is always important but all the black powders they usually cover up any mis mishaps and all the metal so we're just going to go through and wipe them down we're probably gonna have to pull a couple out to get to that back row so we don't bump into them and touch them at all because you don't want to do that even your clothes have some dust in them from wearing them all day so you do not want to let them touch you don't want to let them bang each other either I'm just gonna move a couple. Or do this. And all this is, is I just created a system where I have the booth cut down like I showed you guys, but these are just angle iron with holes drilled in them that hang off the tabs up, up over here, right over here. And we're just gonna rehang some of these like I told you guys. I apologize in advance that it, uh, it's taking me so long to wipe them down. I was gonna do it in a form of time last, but it went, was gonna go too quick. And I really want you guys to get an up close view of what we have to do in order to get the metal ready for the powder. Obviously, it's not good that they bang, but it's not the uh, it's crucial. But when the powder is on them, you do not want to let them touch each other in any way, because that could potentially mess up the, uh, the the job. So now we got them all wiped down. We're gonna go back over them, like I said.
Now that we are all wiped down, ready to go. All right. Well, there you go. There is a fan built in this. I did not explain that yet. There's a fan and a light built in it. Currently, we're adjusting to the light. When we first built it, the light bulb blew up and we had a high temp light. So we're gonna try to adjust that a little bit in the future. But the fan is over in that bottom corner. It's that very bigger hole in the back that does circulate all the, uh, does circulate all the air in there and push it around. But the booth, I always sweep it out and still manage to be little, little dust particles you can't see and they tick up in the part. So I try to limit myself from using it. Typically on a cut in the booth now if I never use it. So that's the deal with that. Now, I'm just gonna open the door up. I am only doing this because we have a lot of panels here we're storing currently. And I just want you guys to see what the board looks like. So the board over here, this is what our, I'm sorry. This is what our timer is. You can set the time right on there. Currently it is running. So the last booth, we must have not finished it off or it was only a 10 minute run. We don't change that time because the highest time we use is 20 minutes. So we're gonna boost this number up to 400 instead of 390 actually because we have to do hold on it always goes there it goes it typically goes but the booth hasn't ran in a couple couple weeks but our first powder was on 375 we're gonna run flat black needs a big on 400 for 20 minutes so we currently don't need that number, it's just because I have a couple other things I'm going to show you guys what we have to do before we can get ready to powder. But we're going to um, set it to 375 and we're going to turn it on. Heater 1, heater 2, because we have both sides have elements on them. And then um, that's it. Now we're ready to go. So I will let you guys go for a little bit while I get a couple other things sorted out. And I will show you the powders on how we change them in a quick little time lapse. It's nothing crazy. It's just basic cleaning. But I will see you guys on a little bit once this gets fired up. Hey, guys. Sorry to come on a little late. I was in the middle of spraying. And I totally forgot to turn the camera on. So that's on me. But we're in the middle of doing the bumper, the pedal, um, seat brackets, and some shock brackets. So I already got those three done on that side. We're going to do the, the bumper real quick. This is Don't be a mistake right there, but this is a Faraday nozzle. This is basically um, a, a, something someone designed as a rim spraying nozzle, and it gets in all the welds really well. That was a dumb mistake. I just shocked myself, so feel free to laugh for that. And you never hold the tip while you're spraying, and that was on me. I was just trying to wipe off some of the excess powder on the outside so it doesn't droop down onto the part. But. Right now, everything seems to look really well. I'm gonna probably raise the air pressure on the voltage a little bit so it sticks a little bit harder. You don't want all this pressure, but right now we have a lot of coverage area to do and the part's gonna cool off and we don't need that. Right now it looks like gloss. And you can come up close and look. Right now it might look like gloss, but it's not. It is flat. When you go to bake it, it bakes a little bit differently. Just back you guys up a little bit. I don't know how well you can see on camera, there's a big cloud developed here from all the powder. I should be wearing a mask, but currently I just, you know, it sweats up your face and it sucks. So, I mean, for my health, yes, I do recommend you wear one. And for your health as well. Um, let's 
try to hit them real heavy and get them layered up really well so they don't chip. I meant to do this in a time lapse, but I thought it might go a little fast for you guys. And I do apologize I did not show you guys when I was cleaning the powder containers out. Really, it's really simple. It's like cleaning out a spray bottle. You don't want to mix the chemicals. It's the same thing. But I wanted to really show you guys this. It's 400 degrees in here currently, and I'm just pulling it in and out. That's what we have to do. Even though the oven temp is going down currently, it is not bad because as long as the parts are still come out of 200 degrees, which they are, we'll be okay. These little ones might not, but as long as they don't drop below 90, we'll be okay. I'll probably do another round in three at a time. Currently 130. Currently that's as low as you want her to go. 107, sorry about that end. That's just the Fahrenheit number. So that one on the end is our crucial one right now. That's going down too low. I always want to get around the welds first. I'm just getting in the nooks and crannies like I normally do right off the bat. Look at that. You see that right there? That's why I hate paper towels. Someone probably wiped it down with a paper towel and did not see. can't ever blame anybody and that's not on me that was probably just a little piece of fiber that was left over it was a little piece of uh, scotch brite so as long as you look out for that it wasn't stuck on it thankfully so we were able to fix that i try to bury this one with powder because the uh there's like a divot and yeah, i'm trying to fill it up because we couldn't get it out of the grinder and you don't want to Make him look bad. You want to try to fix the errors. This guy wanted just a quick little mock-up of uh, of the go kart. Like the back bumper was tweaked a little bit, so we tried to correct it. It looks good.
always check twice. That last one I just put in worries me. I'm hoping we don't get a run. I really just wanted to load it so it looks better than what it looked like. It looked really bad before. The preparation was good, just the part was a little worn out. Seven, that's perfect. 112, 120. That's our current problem. Those will get on quicker than thin metal. So, So now that we got them in there, this powder is 20 minute bake time and 400 degrees. So I'll let you guys know when I come back what they look like. I'll see you guys in a little bit.